well it doesn't feel much like spring today uh, but it is on its way and it will be here before you know it um, if you're like me you fish right the way through winter and now we're absolutely bursting for spring to arrive <laughs> There's already signs of spring in the air. Some of the flowers are starting to shoot. Uh, the whole landscape will be coming back to life and there'll be no better time to be out on the bank. One fish that we definitely associate with spring is the tench, isn't it? And uh, I, for one, cannot wait for spring to arrive and for me to get out there chasing one of my favorite species again. What a fantastic session. I for one am starting to prepare, I'm starting to get all the bits and pieces in that I need now so that when spring does arrive I'm ready to get out there and catch some of those beautiful tench again. Obviously I'll check over the rods. I've used a few rods for my tench fishing over the last few years uh, but one that I really like is the Trilogy. I quite like the triple tip that it comes with. Um, on some of the lakes I can start the year on the 1.5 tip but then as the weed comes up I want to actually step that up to the 175 and I've even got the option to go up to 2.2. Uh, I generally use a 4000 size reel and onto that reel I'm going to want fresh line, uh, I'll put 8 pound main line on, um, sometimes again you know if it's particularly weedy I want that to be 10 pound breaking strain but obviously it's this time of year that I want to put new line on, have nice clean spools for the new tench fishing season. What I really want to talk about though is the end tackle and the bits and pieces that I'm going to need uh, for my rigs. Now um, in early spring I'm nearly always going to want to go in with naturals. I think uh, the nuisance fish are less of an issue very early spring and I think it's very hard to beat maggots, casters and worms. And of course that has an impact on the bits of tackle that I need. Often I'm fishing worm kebab rigs and maggots and I like to fish those on a helicopter setup. So to make life easy I like to make sure that I've got plenty of heli kits in, I like to make sure that I've got combi feeders, generally I have those in 45 gram but I might have them in a few different sizes depending on the lake that I'm fishing. And these days just to make my life easier even still I don't mind using a ready tied rig. And these little four inch hair rigs with quick stops uh, are absolutely perfect. And these particular ones, really sharp all round a hook in size 14 and eight pound breaking strain. I really do believe in keeping things simple. And as you can see, the heli kits with combi feeders and the ready tied rigs, things really could not be more straightforward. This leaves me to worry less about rigs and focus more on my fishing, you know, location, bait application, observing the water and other things like that. What a first tench of the season. Really, really chuffed with that. Something else that's caught my attention for the new tench season is these new grub feeders. Uh, obviously the grub feeders have been around a while, but there have been some changes. Again, I do think you can't go too far wrong with an all out maggot attack especially in early spring. And if you prefer an inline presentation, then these are gonna be perfect. They release maggots just at a really nice steady rate. Uh, you know, you're not having a recast too frequently. And they're a great option if you wanna fish them in the edge or out in the pond, because they cast like an absolute dream. They come in a few different sizes and I will definitely be using these come spring. These new versions, they have this kind of small rubber grommet or rubber clip on the top. Now what that's for, it's for actually clipping your hook length into if you're wanting to fish pop-up maggots, which I do quite a lot. Um, and I, I, I see that working really nicely, just popping some maggots up off the top of the feeder there. Um, you can do that obviously just by buying buoyant rubber maggots. But what I often do is I actually get some red foam I cut that red foam into the shape of a maggot. That way I can thread on a few live maggots with it. So I do get a pop up, but I also get the movement that I'm after from some live maggots. Also what I quite like about having like an inline maggot feeder like this is that I can see if nuisance fish are being an issue, I can see it being really straightforward just to whip this off and put on a method feeder instead. If you want to go in with like a, a method feeder and pellet approach. 
So there you go, that's all the bits and pieces that I'm getting in in preparation for spring and hopefully some incredible tench fishing. <laughs>